Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Um, what is this? This is a golden age American illustration painting. The artist is in the school of artists with uh, J.C. Landecker, Norman Rockwell. Okay. This is Vilma Banky. She is a silent film star, and that was Ronald Coleman. And oh. this is a 1927 film called Two Lovers. She's obviously not going good because she doesn't look interested whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> She's only mildly amused. <laughs> I'm bringing a Golden Age illustration painting from the silent era of films. I purchased the illustration in London. I think that it may be J.C. Landecker. I would like to sell the painting. I would like to see it go to somebody's hands that knows what it is and what it's worth. J.C. Landecker was one of the most respected artists during the Golden Age of illustration. He was so popular that the Saturday Evening Post commissioned him to do over 300 covers for the magazine. Some of his work has sold for over six figures. How much did you want to get out of it? Um, I was asking 7300 Okay. Do you mind if I have someone look at it? I would like that, actually. I okay. think that would be a good idea. If there's money to be made, I'm more than interested. Okay. okay. You All got right. it. Okay. Let me look here. I don't see any sort of monograms or signatures. The, uh, the paper is very much the kind of paper they would have used back in the 20s. So the period, I think the vintage is there. Uh, the one thing I will say is there are some Lion Decker trademarks that I see in the work. One of the things that he used to do is a thing, a technique called hatching. What he learned was to do the shading by doing uh, lines of color that kind of cross the composition. You can see him here in his back. You can see him here in the foreground. Right. So I do see some of his trademarks there. Right. So do you think it's Lion Decker or are there? Well, that's, that's kind of where the bad news comes in. I, I really don't think it's a Lion Decker, and I'll, I'll tell you why. One, he was probably the most imitated uh, graphic artist, illustrator of the early 20th century. Secondly, he hated working from photographs. He would only work from live models. So he would not have worked from a photograph of a still of a movie. So what do you think it's worth? I think the, the best you could hope to get with the conditional elements and the lack of provenance is maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars, somewhere in that window, I think. I'm Thanks, sorry, <laughs> Rick. Hey, my pleasure. I wish, Thank I wish you. I had better news. It's, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. It's a beautiful work. Well, so obviously the whole seventy-three hundred dollars isn't going to happen. At least not for me. The thing is, when you have expensive art. You know, when people buy it, they want to know damn sure where it came from and everything else, and you just don't have it here. But good luck with it. Um, hey, get it framed up, hang on the wall. It's pretty I cool. Probably will, actually. Thanks for bringing it in. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.